स्मार्टफोन र स्मार्ट जमाना खलती हो पैसा को नया ठेगाना डाइनिंग में बसे रा आधा रात उठे रा पार्टी में रा मेरा शॉपिंग मॉल घूमे रा टीवी को पेमेंट डन इंटरनेट रीचार्ज डन बिले ने को टिकट डन फिल्म को टिकट डन पैसा न बैनी हाथे मार खलती बटे पेमेंट डन स्मार्टफोन र स्मार्ट जमाना खलती हो पैसा को नया ठेगाना नमस्कार एंड वेलकम to this English person run by Institute for Excellence Center which is based on education and especially meant for students, people who want to get through the Public Service Commission exams and become section officials or any other uh, offices they, they want to be. This is really a good platform for you to learn something and become what you wish to be. So when I'm talking about English, I should let you know that I prefer to teach in simple way so that you understand it very well and do it. Be proud of what you're doing and get through. So okay, before we start tense, English is something we think we become great by knowing vocabularies. We might have a big vocabulary, but if we are not grammatically correct we can never be good in English so the first thing the basic of learning English is tense so today we are going to have a class in which we'll talk about tense you should know that there are people who have to talk the first person is the person that talks the second person is the person that is being talked to Right now, I am the first person and you are listening to me. So for me, you are the second person. For you, you are the first person because for you, it's I and I'm the second person. So when there are two people talking, there always will be something to be talked about. And that is the third person. So why are we going for how many people should be there while talking? It's because in the first person singular noun, and plural noun we use the verbs in the same way in this so in some tenses I won't say simple present tense only there are other tenses also which we have to use in different ways and for uh, second person and third person also for the plural part we use our grammar in the same way the verb is used in the same way whereas the third person singular noun holds a very different place in English grammar we have to be careful about how we use the third person singular noun. So, I is the first person singular, we is the plural of the first person, you is the second person and the plural of you is as we know, you. He, see, it, my I, my father, my mother, whoever we are talking about could be my hand, it could be my tone that is the third person because we are talking about that person so that is the third person and the singular noun as I told you earlier as I told you earlier holds a special place in English grammar and plural is they these those my eyes so for others we need not be so particular but we have to be particular in the third person singular noun so Let's go to tense. So we all know there are three types of tense. The past tense, the present tense and the future tense. All these tenses, the present, past, future also have the branches which are known as simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. So we'll go to the present tense first which is uh, the easiest which is the base so in this simple present tense we use the noun or pronoun and after that comes the verb noun or pronoun is also known as subject and then comes the verb and then we can put the object it's not very necessary that we need to have the uh, object every time the example of that is I or you or we or they first person second person or the third person plural 
play football the verb comes as it is play football whereas when we go for the third person singular noun that is he see or eat we add an s please look at the screen we have underlined s so i play football you play football they play football he see or eat plays football third person singular noun plays football now when we are talking about this let me tell you simple present tense is used in instances which happens every day that's a regular occurrence that's not an instance but an occurrence that happens every day regularly on a regular basis this goes on happening on a regular basis so we use the simple present tense to let people know that we do that on a regular basis and we add an s to the main verb in the third person singular noun others all use the verb in its original form now we'll move on to present continuous tense so when we talk about present continuous tense we are talking about something that's happening at the moment and the structure we used is subject plus b now b could have different forms is are all these are different forms of b and the verb with an ing now let me give this example i'm talking to you i am talking to you so let's use the same sentence we used previously i am playing football we you the boys we cannot put am here so we'll put are the other form of b are playing ing is a must for continuous tense so whenever we use the continuous tense we have to make sure that we are using be plus verb with an ing that is very very necessary understand that continuous means be plus verb with an ing so whenever it's i we use am when it's the second person or the third person plural or the first person plural we use are we you the boys are playing football and when it is the third person singular noun once again third person singular noun comes here third person singular noun is playing football i am playing football we are playing football they are playing football he is playing football c is playing football the boy is playing football so it means whenever we use the third person singular noun we have to use the is form of b and ing as i have told you earlier will have to come after the verb ing verb with an ing don't forget this b plus verb with an ing and it implies present continuous implies that we are doing something right now like you are listening to me you are watching my video and i'm talking to you this is what's happening right now okay so we'll move on to something else the other tense the other tense is the present perfect tense now when do we use the present perfect tense we use it to imply that we have done something but the result is still there there still is a result i have eaten food that means i'm not hungry i'm still full i don't need to eat i have eaten okay so the structure it uses is subject plus have or has it should be either have or has and the verb will always be in its past participle form subject plus have or has plus verb in its past participle form and when do we use have or has that's the question again 
for all the others that is the first person singular and plural second person and the third person plural we use have I you we or they have played football have eaten rice third form of the verb eaten eat ate eaten do did done the third form of the verb comes in the perfect tense and have or has is a must so whenever we use have or has the verb that follows will always 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 don't ever forget that always be in its third form so for the third person singular noun we use has he see or the boy has played football I have played football you have played football we have played football they have played football he has played football she has played football the boy has played football that is what it is so please don't forget we use the present perfect tense to imply that we have done something very recently and the result is still there and the structure we use is subject plus have or has plus verb in its past participle form perfect always whenever we use the perfect tense whether it's in the past present or future we should remember have or has plus verb in the third tense is a must so we move on to the next and that is the present perfect continuous tense so the present perfect continuous tense talks about something that has been happening for quite a long time so it should have taken me say five minutes to do some work but I have been taking quite long I've been working for half an hour then we use the present perfect continuous tense so the structure is subject plus have or has plus been plus verb with an ing so please get it in your head subject plus have or has plus been plus ing now let's go back to what i said some time back i said in the continuous tense we always should have b plus ing so we are using b plus ing to imply that it is the continuous tense been plus eating and i also said we should always use have or has plus verb in its third form so where is it we have have we used verb in its third form yes we have the helping verb be has come in its third form he has been playing football we have been playing football as i said earlier have has to be used with the other persons whereas has is used with the third person singular noun only so we have has plus been plus verb with an ing so that is how we do the present perfect continuous tense so it is used to imply that we have been doing something for a long time still in the process the work is still in process and we have taken it quite a long time not a very long time but we have been doing longer than what is usual time it takes smartphone smart zamana khalti ho paisa ko naya thikana dining ma basera aadha raat uthera party ma ramera shopping mall ghumera tv ko payment done internet recharge done billene ko ticket done film ko ticket done paisa na bani hatte ma khalti but payment done स्मार्टफोन रमाना खलती हो पैसा को नया ठेगाना